the importance of ensiling uh, feeds and concentrates. I want you to realize that we are talking about feeds and we are talking about concentrates. And the purpose of addressing this purpose of ensiling is so that we can minimize wastage and enhance profitability. Because the main reason why we keep cows, whether they be dairy or beef, is so that we can create wealth using dairy or beef farm animals. Now, the challenge that we normally have is that, again, farmers would always think that when they have a dairy cow, the main reason or the main thing they can engage to give them wealth is milk. But I will be challenging you guys moving forward that you look at a dairy cow and know that there are several other components around it that we must always pay attention to in order for us to make wealth, to create wealth using that dairy cow that we have brought at home. Uh, in dairy farming or beef farming, feeds are the most important component of everything that we do. The largest amount of our money and our time is spent on feeds. But the biggest challenge we have is that the feeds that we spend money on end up getting lost or wasted in our own hands and on our own farms. And we don't realize that that happens to be the reason why we are not creating money, why we are not becoming profitable. Now, I want us to know that an animal that is a ruminant, which is a, a, a cow or sheep or goats, those animals that kill card are called ruminants. And they're called ruminants because they have a rumen. A rumen that defines dairy and beef cattle that we have on our farms is basically a fermentation tank. It is a tank inside a cow that has the purpose of that has the purpose of fermenting whatever the animals feed on. Now, let us start by marking the point that a ruminant cannot get nutrients that are wrapped up in the feeds that we give them unless that feed has fermented. So, when we give a cow hay, when we give a cow napier grass, when we give a cow whatever we give them, they ingest it and first of all, ensile it inside their own rumen before they can now start extracting the energy, the protein, the minerals, the trace elements that are wrapped up in the feeds that we have given them. Now, look at it like, why do cows find it important? Or why the creator of dairy and beef cattle find it important to give or to design cows with a fermentation tank or an ensilement tank or a chamber where they have to ensile what they have to feed on first. It is because for the it is because the, the animals that we are talking about today are not necessarily interested in the in the hay that we give them. They are not interested in the they are not interested in the stuff that we give them. You give them, but what they are interested in is the energy in the feeds, the proteins in the feeds, the minerals in the feeds, the uh, trace elements in the feeds, and of course, quality fiber. Those are very important and key for ruminants. Now, when we ensile our dairy meals or when we ensile our hay or our maize, we are actually creating 
are women in quotes outside the rumen of a cow. We are imitating the rumen, uh, the, the, that chamber in the dairy or beef cattle that incites whatever they feed. So we create that outside the rumen of uh, outside the cow. Because it, when we don't do that and we feed our cows uh, napier grass or hay or a cow picks grass by itself, she will spend between 20 and 40 hours. First of all, and siling what they have been fed on. During that particular time, they take that material and expose it to the activities of organisms called microbes. Microbes are a host of beneficial bacteria, beneficial fungus, protozoas and all those that work and degrade whatever the animals have fed on first. They attack them from all corners, break them into tiny particles that are utilizable by the dairy cow or the beef cow. So those broken down materials that are products of uh, of fermentation mixed with water and then are, they, are transferred to various parts of the body of an animal during the ex nutrient extraction process. Now, why do we inside them? We inside them because we give the microbes an opportunity to start degrading the feeds before the animals ingest the same feeds. That way, we get the microbes enough time, longer time, to break them down. And when we give them enough time to break them down, they do a good job. So that when the cow is ingesting the feed as silage, or as fermented dairy meals, or uh, or fermented maize jams and all that, the work will be almost halfway done. Instead of it taking 20 or 40 minutes or uh, hours to be broken down, it will be completed maybe in 10 hours. Once it is completed in those 10 hours, it means the period to extract is elongated, is lengthened. So the animals now will take a longer time to extract. And because they extract for a longer time, the animal gets to access more nutrients and less gets out of the system as cow dung. So you realize whenever you use silage to feed your animals, the cow dung output gets to be reduced and literally almost to half because these feed materials were degraded first before the animal degraded further and there was a lengthened or elongated period of extraction that gave the animal a longer time to extract and therefore to extract more and reduce what goes out of the, 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 the system because the, what an animal eats will take between will take up to 72 hours or three days to enter the mouth, be, di be, be inside in the rumen, be extracted, and then start the way out of the system up to the cow dung level. So that is the reason why it is important to ensile whatever you are feeding so that you give the animals longer time to extract so that less energy, less protein, less minerals, less stress elements gets to pass out of the system into the cow dung.